Hello, this video is about ISI BSTAT BMAT solutions. In my previous video, I have solved some of the questions. Now, this is part 2. I will be solving tomato questions. This one is a tomato question and the number is 11. There, uh, they have given 1 factorial plus 2 factorial dot 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 99 factorial. It's a big number. So, they have asked what is the unit digit? This is the last digit only. So here, in order to solve this, only one thing is kept uh, should be kept in mind here. That is, what is happening? What is factorial 1? This is 1. What is factorial 2? Two? 2. What is factorial 3? 6. What is factorial 4? 24. What is factorial 5? That is 120. What is factorial 6? That is 720. What is factorial 7? 8. Now in that way, if we just keep on proceeding, it's 5040 actually. Uh, so we see that after 5 factorial everything is ending up with a 0. So the last digit is not concerned anything with 999. Even sometimes as I give particular year like 2017 factorial or 2018 factorial or 2020 factorial, it doesn't matter. So what matters is the first 4 numbers which doesn't end up with 0. I'm showing you some structure. Like if I add 4, 6, 8, 90, 84, 9, 8, 90, 1, 0, 0, 0. So what I have matters is the last digits. The zeros does not matter. So here in this case also the first part is 1, 2, 6, 24, 120, 720, dot, dot, dot. So here also the rest of the thing doesn't matter, only the first four digits, last digits matter. So that is 3, that's it. So the last unit digit is 3. In our case, the option is A. In the number theory part, we'll be doing many questions on this in order to make it helpful for you. Okay, now proceeding to the question number 12 in this uh, tomato. Um, in July 3, the year 1977, maybe the birth year of uh, some of the professors at ISI. Okay, so what is happening here? And uh, no offense, Sunday. Now, my birthday is also on Sunday. Uh, and uh, so, so my, some of the cases, uh, what happens on Sunday is, in a computer system, Sunday is very special because the day may start on Sunday or may start on Monday. And according to that, many calendar systems also been made in the 17th era. Sometimes you see a calendar Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, dot, 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 Saturday. And sometimes it is Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Saturday, Sunday. So that was a pattern. But today's discussion is a little bit different from that. So they have given a date July 3, 1977 and they want us to find July 3, 1970. What was that date? Okay. Option 1, obviously you can check your Android phone or calculator or for anything, any computer. But at the examination you don't have it. So in order to solve this, I am giving you an elaborate structure. So what is a lunar year? You are heard, maybe you heard this term for the first time. A lunar year means a year which has 365 days. So what is a year which is called leap? That part you know very much well. That is which has plus 1. That is 366 days in case of leap year. So first we need to check that if 1944 is starting on Tuesday, then 1945 is starting on which day? You don't know? First step one to do this kind of stuff is you check whether 1944 was a leap year or not. Just divide by 4 and 4 4s are 16, 34, 4 8s are 32 and 24. So now it comes out to be a leap year. So if it is a leap year, so 1944, 1945 will not be start on a Wednesday, it will start on a Thursday. But 1946 will be start on a Friday and 1947 our very own lovely year is starting on a Saturday okay 
So this is the, but even 1948 on a Sunday, but coming to 1949, as 1948 is again a leap year, that will be on a Tuesday. So with respect to starting year, or starting days, or any kind of thing, the dates are changing by one day, if it is non-leap year, and changing by two days, if it is a leap year. Now coming back to the question, it was given to us, but in this kind of question, it is relatively become easier if we proceed forward. So let the given date is 3rd July 1970 and that is, we take it as day X, just take it as Monday, okay, just take any day or as the options are given, the Wednesday, Friday, Sunday, Tuesday, we are taking it as simply Wednesday, okay. And uh, the day which is given, it is 3rd July 1977, which is given perfectly, that is Sunday. So this is a perfect answer. So now, if we are solving this, so how many years in between? We have 7 years. How many leap years in between? Is 1970 a leap year? Answer is no. 1970 is not a leap year. Is 1971? No. Is 1972 a leap year? So 1972, if you just do it, for for the 16, 37, 4, 9 is a 36, so 1972 is a leap year. So we have one leap year that is 1972 and another leap year must be 1976. So these two leap years, in general there are 7 days, 7 years, so 7 days will be proceed as 1 day for each year. But these two makes it plus 1, plus 1. So simply we will go in for some day which is 9 days after. If it is Wednesday, then the answer will be Thursday. Friday. So simply, if the answer is given as Sunday, the seven days back it would have been a Sunday again minus two days. So our answer is ending up at a Friday. Hence, Friday is the answer because the number of days changing is nine. If it would have been ten, the answer is Thursday. If it would have been eleven, the answer is Wednesday. Okay. And I always recommend don't just proceed with the video. Go pause it review it until unless you get the pattern and you can obviously ask me questions uh, in the comment section below okay now proceeding to our next question this is question number 13 what they're saying is uh, it's june 10 1979 and that is again a sunday mm, this guy is really affected uh, by Sunday. Well, who else? Everyone is affected. So 10 to 1972. Now they have asked this. Again, they are going backward. So this time the date is not same. So we need to be a little bit cautious and I am going to introduce some new prospective formula in order to solve this question. So let's see this. For example, 314 days. If today is a Tuesday, so what will be the day after 314 days if I ask you? How will you calculate? So, will you calculate it with respect to 314? No. So, you just divide 314 by 7. So, 4 7s are 28, 34. 4 6 7s are 28. And 6 is the remainder. So the remainder is the key, the remainder. So 6 is the remainder. If the Tuesday, as I'm proceeding forward, so plus 6, so the answer is a Monday. That's it. It's so easy. So here also we will be doing that thing. So 10 to 1972 to 10, 6, 1979. Now uh, we are proceeding. So here again, we are taking today as 10 to 1972. That's it. So today is 10 to 1972. And uh, our target is to proceed to a date which is uh, given as 10, 6, 1979. Okay. So now first step one is how many complete years are between? How many complete years? I can see 7 complete years, okay, so 7 days. Now as I have said, the 1972 is a leap year and the date hasn't crossed 29th of February, so we are adding one day and 1976 is also a leap year, so again one day. So till now 9 days have been added. 
but by this we have reached to the position of actually 10 to 1979 but we need to reach to 10 6 1979 so how many days still left in the month of February there are simply 19 days by the leap year in the month of March of 1979 we have 31 in the month of April 30 in the month of May we have 31 and June don't just put again 30 so in case of June you need to reach to this you can add all these again a shortcut 19 days means how many odd days odd means which doesn't fall in the common pattern so how many odd days you can see over here so you can see here five odd days here you can see um, how many three odd days here two here three and here three if you don't get it I am just dividing by seven and finding the remainder just dividing everything by seven and each time I have found the remainder so just plus it so this will give you 5 3 8 10 13 16 and here you already have 9 so 16 plus 9 ends up to 25 so now in this 25 days how to proceed so 25 days means 25 also be divided by 7 so 4 or days and as we are going backward in time and today is Sunday minus 4 days that is Saturday Friday Thursday and the answer is a Wednesday okay So the answer is Wednesday. Simply the option is according to this A. Now uh, some advanced level questions time as I have promised you all. So this one is question number 25. I have been request for this. So what they have given is four statements are given below and uh, a set is given I'm uh, think assuming that you know a little bit of set one two three only one of them is correct and which one is correct so a one two is this sign is called belongs to sign one and two belongs to one two three option B is one two is a subset of one two one two three Taking 1, 2, 3 is 1, 2, 1, 2, 3 and coming to D is 3 belongs to 1, 2, 1, 2, 3. Now, not so very complicated but the concept is very important over here. So now the first part, the belongs to. 1, 2 itself as a set doesn't belong see one is a separate set two is a separate and one two three these are all is a type of subset if z is the set we are talking about so these are the subsets now one two cannot make together a particular can make a set it's a subset of subset but they, it does not belong to this so the first option is wrong second one we have got this one two is a subset of this yes obviously is it's a subset but it doesn't belong to this as I said, it doesn't belong to this, but we can form something out of it. As the option, any one option is correct, we don't need to seek the other one. But for the sake of the concept, I'm saying, same thing is applicable for 3, because 3 itself is not present, so it is wrong. And 1, 2, 3 itself, although present in this case, but it cannot be considered as a subset, but as 1, 2 is separately present over there. So here, the only possible option for us, which is left, is option number B. Now we are proceeding to question number 28. Question number 28 is uh, dealing with uh, many of you ask me what is this sign? What is this delta? This is actually called symmetric difference. That is if I write a delta b so that means a minus b union b minus a. So simple. So diagrammatically this is the area we will be looking for.
this is a minus b and this is b minus a okay now how to solve in this question now if you know this part all is left is a little bit of basic calculation of set theory so 1 2 3 4 y equal to 2 3 5 7 and z equal to 3 6 8 9 and w equal to 2 comma 4 comma 8 comma 10 and uh, on the basis of this they have asked us to find the value of x delta y delta z delta w so a lot of deltas are here so i hope uh, you have written the question in your copy so x delta y will be the difference between x minus y okay slight disturbance x minus y union y minus x simply this so uh, here x minus y union y minus x you can calculate this part x minus y will be what is x minus y so uh, we are reducing the terms this is 1 2 3 4 minus 2 3 5 7 if I just do it so many of you don't have said actually in your boards or, uh, or have done in the very long time back so it creates uh, sometimes a painful situation as well so let's do it so union and uh, this part will be y so y is 3689 and uh, minus x again so 1 2 3 4 so if we just uh, take the common portions away so that is 2 is common 3 is common and x minus y have said so I'm going to write 1 comma 4 not the 5 7 if it, that's the value of y minus x okay and here in y minus x which is no I've written the y value wrong uh, this should be uh, 2 3 5 7 I've written the z value actually Two, three, so now what is the common part 2 is common again 3 is common so what is left is 5 comma 7 so ultimately it is 1 4 5 7 now similarly z w is z minus w if you just z minus w if we do uh, it is 3, 6, 8, 9 and 2, 4, 8, 10. So 8 will be removed and it is left out with 3, 6, 9. The first part and union W minus Z. If we again take the common part, it's 2, 4, 10. So again, if we take union, it will read us to 2, 4, 3, 6, 9, 10. A relatively longer one. And if we again take uh, with respect to this, that is 1, 4, 5, 7 and the symmetric difference of 2, 4, 3, 6, 9, 10. If we proceed in the same way, uh, which I have prescribed to you, so you will find that all uh, these 1 minus 4 and this part, the common portions will be calculated and finally you will get it answer as 1 2 3 5 6 7 9 and 10 okay if you don't get it you can ask me I uh, in my complete video it has been provided okay so in the next video we will be doing some more advanced questions from tomorrow thank you